Welcome back to another video. In this one, uh, I'm going to be talking about the ways that I would look to improve upon the preview mode or the first training mode, the place you go to after you make your character, either for the first time or for the second or hundredth time. It's the place you go to get your subclass. And here are some reasons why I think it should be reworked or revamped or just improved upon in general. And as well as my solutions as to why. Now, the video is cut a little weird. Uh, in fact, I'm not even wearing the same shirt in the video, which you'll see soon. That's because this was taken from my previous video, which if you haven't seen, make sure to go check that out. It's called My Wishlist for Lost Ark. And I talk a little bit briefly about this subject in particular. Now, in this video, I'm talking way more in depth about the solutions and why I want to see the preview mode improve. So, let's just jump into it. Moving on from that, though, the next thing I want to talk about is, oh God, probably one of the best systems that exists in the game, the Trixian Training Room, right? This is probably one of the coolest, most intuitive, most how do I suck the dick of this piece of content even more? Like, it's in, in incredibly well thought out mechanic. You give someone the ability to basically test their class, and they have all of these options to see, like, exactly, like, the stats that they want to use, like engravings, or that you can manipulate their skills in any way, they can see their their ultimates, they can just basically test and see, like, uh, you know, practice their combinations, what have you. This is literally just the train a perfect training room to practice your class. And it is so good. It's so well designed. And they have something like this for the beginning of the game. When you choose your class, you guys may remember this. I'm sure you are, you know what I'm talking about. It's the first thing you really do after you create your character. It's the first place you go. It's where you choose your subclass. Now, why would I change this? What's the problem with it? Well, I mean, there's no, like, real problem with it. If, if, if it were up to me, like, I would keep this, uh, this piece of content in the game, hands down, no changes, you know, whatever. It's so well designed on its own. And I'm talking again about the beginning, not later on after 30 version of Trixian uh, Training Room. I'm talking about the first version of it you experience. I think it desperately needs a redesign of some sort. It's so bare bones. Like, dude, being a new player, going into that, it doesn't really tell you much other than shows you the basics to combat and the bare minimum, like, it, the, it's very bland in the form of trying to get you acquainted with how your class works. I can't tell you how many people I have tried showing the game to who have tested a class that looked interesting to them, like the um, Gun Lancer or the, any of the martial artists, or like the Berserker, for example, and they will play in the be beginning area, just, you know, creating characters and testing them out, and they'll always come back to me saying, like, oh man, like this class seems cool, but I didn't like it because of X, Y, Z. Either the class is too slow or like whatever. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, oh my God, if only I could just tell them or just show them, help them understand that the thing that they're, they don't like changes way later in the game. Like all of the problems that a class faces. Okay, Berserker, for example, or Demonic. These two classes suffer some of the same problems when leveling. Your specialization takes a really long time to get. Definitely not as long as, like, the Bard or the Paladins. Those two are fucking... All right, see you next week when my specialization is fully <laughs> fucking developed and I can use it next year. All right, dude, let's go. Woo! It's not that bad, but... You know, it's still like, ugh, it just takes so long. You don't really get, you want to stay in that berserker mode. You want to stay in that demonic mode. You want to, that's what the feels good is, right? That's what fucking like, mm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, baby. And then when you finally get it and activate it, you're like, holy shit, man. I'm fucking, I'm going big dick style. And then you're doing like, if you're berserker, you're doing all these tacks, 
attacks super fast, you're doing shitloads of damage, you have bloody rush, like it's it feels so good to use. And for demonic, like the same thing, you've got access to these six new abilities that are just fucking uh, slap or, or five new abilities that are just slapping, just absolutely slapping, and they look so fucking cool. But the thing is, is as soon as it ends, you're just like, all right, back to basic bitch mode, I guess. And it just, it doesn't feel very good. It's not, it, it feels not satisfying. But the thing is, is that both of them get engravings that fix that problem. Both of them. Berserker gets the one that makes it so they, or once their uh, Berserk ends, they can just start generating it back up again. And same thing for Demonic, and it feels so much better. It feels so much better. It's way less clunky. But these new players don't get to experience that. All they have is what's in front of them at that point. And first impressions are extremely important. Oh, not to mention tripod effects. They're not available in that beginner training room. It's just like you're playing with fucking, you're just taking a sandwich and lathering it with mayonnaise, slapping it on and eating it. Like, I guess it's yummy, but it's nothing compared to when you got the fucking meat on that bitch and you get the tomato and the lettuce and the motherfucking cheese and bada bing, bada boom, get the pickle. That's it. That's the tripods, that's the engravings, that's your stats, that's all the meat, boy. And you don't get any of that, and that's a huge problem. Now, it's really easy to point out things that should be improved, but how would they be improved? Well, that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try to give my perspective of what I would do to change that exactly. All right, so let's take, for example, I just made a character and we're on the training room. On the right-hand side, they have the options to either test a new class, you can spawn monsters, you can spawn bosses, and then you can also uh, just exit to make your final choice. What would I add? Well, listen, simplicity is extremely important. So doing the same thing that is in the level 30 version of Trixian Training Room, I don't think it's such a good idea. That in itself is very complex that you know you've got the fucking dps meter and you've got like you can spawn scarecrows and shit i don't think you need all that what i do think is important is allowing people to for one being able to press q and open up your skills i think that that is something that is a must being able to see the skills that you have access to is much more interesting than just seeing these four abilities you get. Because you don't even you don't even know that you're going to have more abilities from then on out. I think either one of two things should take place. Either all of the skills should be maxed out, or you should have the points to be able to designate them. If they were maxed out, that would be easier. However, I think if the player had the option to put points in, that would help them understand kind of how the game works. And it gives them kind of a training, like basic uh, understanding of how to designate your points and how it works as well as how to designate your tripods another thing that i would add is on the right hand side at the very top i changed the ui a little bit to be more similar to the level 30 version of trixian but it would be vastly more beginner friendly and what do i mean by this well for example i would not include the uh, option to get all of the different uh, engraving effects. Really, I would only limit the engraving effects to the two class engravings because realistically, the fucking like, I don't know, 20 or 30 other basic engravings that every class has access to don't really change your gameplay too much. I mean, I guess a little bit, but not as nearly as much as the class engravings do because those give you a real, real taste of what the end game playstyle is like. So, with that being said, I would have only two thing, two buttons to be able to select. It would be the first engraving at the top, and then below that would be the second class engraving. And you can just click on either of them, cycle between them, and hovering over them would show you a, a tooltip of what they do. Uh, either it'll give you the level one version or it just gives you the level three you know whatever just make it as simple as possible while also giving new players the option to experience it below that i would add maybe the 
three most important stats for PvE content, which is crit, specialization, and swiftness. Those three, I think, give the most accurate representation of most people's builds and either give the player the option to designate those stats themselves uh, and then a tooltip hovering showing you know what they do or just make it so every stat is at like 600 or 700 because i think that's a pretty realistic number for classes to have stat wise now it's not you know efficient and it's no not even like what most classes will be at but it gives a general understanding all in all, I think this would be a fantastic solution to this problem. Now, please correct me or comments if you think that either I'm wrong or you think it would be better in this way or that way. I'd love to have an open discussion about this because either way, I just want what is best for Lost Ark. I just want to see the game improve immensely. I want to see it fucking skyrocket, bro. Want that bitch to go to the moon, motherfucker. I just want what's it like to... I just want what's best. Like, I'm trying not to nerd out, okay? So, please, just comment down below, talk to me in Discord, whatever the fuck. Let's talk about it. If you don't agree, or if, even if you do agree, let's just fucking nerd out about it, bro. And that is really it. That's all I gotta say. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little presentation, my uh, TED Talk on why the starting area should be improved upon. If you did, Make sure to slam dunk that motherfucking subscribe button. Hit the like, comment down below, talking about whatever, you know? Tell me about things that you uh, think should be improved upon. Videos that you'd like me to uh, do or see. And make sure to check out my streams at www.twitch.tv slash double dice for all that beautiful, beautiful Lost Ark streaming content coming February 8th. Unless it came out now when you're watching the video now which in that case you know this is a little awkward because i'm talking to you from the past what's up you tell me how the future is is lost ark any good i bet it is let's fucking go bro but yeah with that being said i'll see you guys next time i'm going to be uploading another video um similar to this it's going to be talking about sailing that will be the sailing subject Woo! sailing video Woo! yeah let's go Woo! all right peace out love you guys take care see you guys next time bye